the dog doesn't have this moral compass, right? No. no if we, if you're on a desert island with mm-hmm. your dog and there's only one sandwich left, <laughs> you, you would share that with your dog. You would. You would. I would take a bite, you know, and maybe give, I'd eat all the good stuff and give my dogs the crust. But <laughs> at least we shared our sandwich. Yes. But you know what? Your dog will not share the sandwich with you. If that sandwich is on the ground and it's your only food for two weeks, your dog will eat it without even thinking of you. Yeah, absolutely. That's the difference. They they don't think like we do. Exactly. And I think that on some level, that's part of what I love about dogs so much. Because I never have to question why my dog is making that choice. I never have to think, you know what? is my dog just trying to make me feel better today because I'm not feeling, you know, particularly happy for whatever reason? Or is my dog lying to me because they don't want to have a tough conversation with me about something? <laughs> like I never have to think those things about the dog, which right. is, I mean, the way I put that was ridiculous, but no, no, I no, never have to sense. question my dog's loyalty or disloyalty. Mm-hmm. You know, if my dog is doing something that I think, oh, they really want to engage with me. That's genuine. Mm-hmm. And if my dog is doing something that I think, oh, you know what? I, I don't want them doing that. They shouldn't be doing that. Mm-hmm. But it's a genuine reaction on their part. Right. So I need to change something that I'm doing to help my dog understand that they'd be better off to make the choice that aligns with what I like. Right. right? Yes. And that can be a tricky thing to navigate. Mm-hmm.